What's up guys, Droid Monterex here, you're watching XDA TV. Last week we looked at Tech Fanatic 9's toolkit for the Mac that allowed us to bring our Nexus 6 back to factory settings. This week we're going to look at his toolkit that will allow us to root, unlock the bootloader, and install TeamWin Recovery Project to our Nexus 6, all on a Mac, which is pretty cool because most developers focus mostly on Windows. Uh, we've got tons and tons of toolkits for Windows devices. This may be the only toolkit for OS X uh, or a Mac in general. But before we get started, I want to go ahead and announce the winner of the Pro Box 2X, the media player that has Android. Uh, this thing, guys, as you know, is capable of running pretty much any Android application that you could run on your smartphone or tablet on your television, and it's 4K capable, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to go ahead and let my awesome brother-in-law, Jonathan, announce the winner. What's the XDA? The winner is Dick B. Congratulations. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is prepare our device to be unlocked, rooted, and have recovery installed with the Tech Fanatic 9 toolkit for the Mac. So we'll go into settings, go down to about phone, click on the build number seven times until it says you are now a developer. From there, you're going to go into developer options, turn those on, make sure the enable OEM unlock is checked, and then make sure USB debugging is checked. Then we'll go ahead and plug this into our USB uh, cable into our computer. So once we have that plugged in, we should get a message allow USB debugging. We're going to select always allow from this computer and then select OK. And then we should be able to set our device to the side for now. Okay guys, so you're going to want to head to this thread. It'll be linked in the description. And you'll scroll down here to where it says download all Mac toolkits. So you'll click there. And then you'll scroll down again to where it says download the Nexus 6 one-click root toolkit. Go ahead and select that. And then you'll scroll down and click download root Nexus 6 Mac toolkit. So you'll go ahead and unzip that to your desktop. And you'll end up with this folder, root Nexus 6 Mac toolkit. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and open up the file. And then we'll double-click on the green Android guy. Okay, you'll get this error message, root Nexus 6. I can't be open because it is from an unidentified developer. So we'll just click OK, and then we'll go in here. Uh, we'll click on the Apple icon in the system tray, and then we'll go down to System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and it shows you here that it was blocked, so we'll go ahead and open anyway. And then we'll click Open. Okay, it says this script will root your Nexus 6. For more details, go to AndroidRoots.com. Warning, this will do a factory reset on your phone. So anytime we unlock the bootloader via the OEM unlock, it is going to totally wipe out your device. So you're going to want to make sure that you do any backups of any important information before you begin this process. This is before getting started. Enable developer options, which we've already done that. Turn on OEM unlock. Enter into bootloader mode. And connect your phone to your Mac via USB cable. Press enter to unlock your bootloader. So according to this, we're going to need to boot into bootloader mode. So what we'll do here is we'll just simply hold down volume and power until it boots into the bootloader mode. Then we'll set the phone to the side. And then we will press enter. Okay, so that went on ahead and sent the OEM unlock command. So we'll get this screen. And yes, it's already selected. So we'll go ahead and hit the power button to select yes. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and unlock the bootloader and wipe out the data. So we'll need to start the device and then uh, complete the setup screen. So we'll go ahead and start and we'll just kind of let it boot up and then we'll go through the initial setup process on our phone. Okay, so if for any reason you get stuck here, normally you would see a little update screen or you would see an update progress bar. Um, that's what you would normally see. That would just mean that it was wiping the data. But if you get stuck here, this is what I've noticed when I either unlock or lock the bootloader. I've done it several times and I get this screen. So you'll press and hold power and then volume up and that'll go ahead and format the data. So you see where it says formatting data there. We'll just kind of let it do its thing here and then uh, we'll go ahead and select the reboot system. Okay, so as soon as you see this screen here, uh, reboot system now will be highlighted. You're just gonna go ahead and press the power button and that will reboot your phone into Android. Now this may take five or six minutes because it did do a full data wipe. You'll see that padlock there uh, letting you know that the bootloader has been successfully unlocked. Just give this initial boot several minutes, like I said, up to five or six minutes, maybe 10 minutes. 
because with the data wipe, it's going to take a little bit of extra time. So just give that time and then we'll come back and finish the process. Okay, so once your phone is all booted up, you're going to go ahead and set up your device. And then we'll continue with the process. Okay, it says that we'll need to download Android file transfer and transfer this update super SU version 2.3.5 zip onto your phone using Android file transfer. It gives you a link here. Just copy this link and paste it into your browser. It'll bring you here. I just need to click the download now button. And as soon as it finishes downloading, you'll open the DMG and you can drag and drop that into your applications folder to install. So I just went on ahead and drug a shortcut into the Nexus 6 Mac Toolkit folder. And so we'll go ahead and open that. Okay, we'll go into, let's see, we should be able to just drag and drop this into our phone. And it didn't say a specific folder, so I'm not gonna put it in a folder at all. Uh, we'll just drag and drop it here. And it is now transferred onto our device. So we should be able to just go ahead and continue. So just press enter to continue. Enter back into bootloader mode and keep your phone plugged in. So we'll go ahead and put our phone back in bootloader mode as by simply pressing and holding volume down and power. Okay, so once we're in the bootloader mode, we'll press enter. Okay, so this is enter one, then press enter. So it's now sending TeamWin Recovery Project. Okay, so it quickly sent the recovery, so you guys can see it sent TeamWin Recovery Project to the phone. So now on the phone itself, we're just gonna press volume up until we see recovery. And then we'll select the power button to enter into TeamWin Recovery Project. Then we'll just find that super SU file and we'll go ahead and flash that. Okay, so we'll just press install. And you can see there the update Super SU 2.3.5 zip. And make sure that's the correct file that you're flashing there. And then we will simply swipe to flash. It's going to go ahead and root our phone. Then we can just reboot system. And as soon as the phone boots back up, we will go ahead and test to make sure that our device is rooted. Okay, so now that we're all booted up, we should be able to find our Super SU which is here. We'll go ahead and open that and make sure that our binaries are updated. Okay, so it's not asking us to update any binaries. We should be good to go there. Uh, we'll go into the Play Store and download Root Checker real quick. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open Root Checker. Agree. Okay. We'll verify Root. Okay, so it's asking for super user permission, so we know that it is rooted. We'll go ahead and grant that, and it should tell us, congratulations, this device has root access. So guys, this is a quick and simple way to unlock the bootloader, install Team Rain Recovery Project, and root your Nexus 6 or Nexus 9 on a Mac device. Big shout out to Tech Fanatic 9 for creating and developing uh, this nifty little toolkit. That about wraps it up for this guide. Once again, big shout outs to the winner of the Pro Box 2X, Dick B. I uh, will be getting in touch with you shortly so that we can grab your credentials, uh, your address, and get that shipped out to you ASAP. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Also, you can find more of me at youtube.com slash droidmoderx. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.